Hello everybody, my name is Lonnie. Welcome back to my kitchen. And today we're gonna to be making some flour tortillas. So let's go ahead and get started. In a large bowl, you wanna go ahead and add four cups of flour and a teaspoon of salt. In a cup of hot water, you wanna add half a cup of butter. And once that gets nice and soft and melty, you wanna go ahead and add that in. Now you can use a spatula to mix this in. I prefer to use my hand so I can get a good feel for the dough. I kept about a third of hot water on the side to pour in as I saw. You want to knead the dough until it's no longer sticky and the flour is well incorporated. The dough is no longer sticky, so I'm going to go ahead and cover that up and let that sit for 20 minutes. Once those 20 minutes are up, I'm going to go ahead and start separating the dough. You can measure your dough balls on a scale if you'd like to keep everything even. I personally didn't. I'm not too picky on whether they're all the same size, so I just went ahead and did it by feel. As you can see, I am rolling the dough ball into a ball and then I'm putting it on the cookie sheet and I have them covered with a damp paper towel. Now just repeat this step until you're done and there's no more dough to roll. On a floured surface, you want to go ahead and grab a dough ball and with a floured rolling pin, you want to go ahead and roll that out. Typically, you'd roll this out till about an 8 inch round. I personally am not really crazy about the shape. I just need them to be as thin as possible because I like mine thin. So I'm just going to keep flipping it side to side. As you can see, I can almost see through the dough. This is when I know it's pretty much ready to go ahead and go from here to onto my griddle. Now you're just going to repeat this step and then transfer onto your cooking surface. These can be cooked on a griddle or on a comal, which is basically like a flat cast iron pan. Mine only lets me do one at a time, so I use my griddle so I could do two. When you start to see some bubbles come up, that's when you know it's ready to flip and it's done. If you like your tortillas with a little bit more color, you can leave them on longer. This is how I like mine. And you're just going to repeat these steps until you're done. <laughs> I really hope you guys try this out. They come out so buttery and yummy. I'm gonna use mine for some at-home snack wraps. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.